हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू बी एफ एस सी फिशरीज ऑनलाइन क्लास फ्रॉम द लॉन्ग गैप वी आर बैक अगेन विथ अ न्यू स्पिरिट टू हेल्प यू ऑल ड्यू फॉर द एग्जाम विच इज़ अपकमिंग लाइक फॉर वी वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग फॉर जे आर एफ एग्जाम एंड वट एवर आर चैनल कैन हेल्प कैन हेल्प यू ऑल दिस इज अ चैप्टर फ्रॉम द ऑर्नामेंटल फिशेज that is a topic taken green certification like uh, how the marine fishes are certified means if it is exported or imported there are certain kind of certification given from each step like uh, from the handling to the transport and all there are certification provided so also for the ornamental fresh water fishes there is certification and it is said to be as green certification given by the empida it was started in the year 2011 somewhere it is written 2008 also but the handbook prefers for the 2011 so it is a point to remember uh, because anything can come in the exam and we can uh, like my channel has provided you all every topic in the detail um, we are providing so uh, we don't have to leave any of the chapter we have to complete everything while uh, for the exam so let's start with the green certification like health cert it is a kind of health certification to ensure about the safety we used to prefer the health certification it is given by mpda and eic there is a combined mpda and eic mpda means marine product export development authority and eic is export inspection council so uh, during the pre uh, shipment there is inspection undergone means like uh, from the handling means like when it is caught then uh, handling then transport and whatever is done like breeding culture and all there is in every step there will be a kind of inspection done so to certified and so to get a uh, safe product so we do such kind of things and this is during import or and all also for the export so we are talking here about the export so we are saying that during export what is done then what is this green certification it is a value chain system like what i have said that uh, during the processing uh, of the fish when it is caught then handled then transport there will be inspection so it is said to be as value chain system and it is what what is the purpose of this it is to ensure the environmental and the socio economic sustainability so we are um, more uh, sustainable so we have to uh, take care for the sustainability and the to ensure the product quality safety and traceability this kind of work is been done during the export so mpda has given this green certification so what we do is uh, during the export like what uh, when the fresh water ornamental fishes are exported then first it is uh, collected from wherever we are collecting like uh, it can be the fresh water or wherever then it is handling like uh, it is uh, then handling then it is transported uh, means wherever we have to transport like uh, then it is hold then it is breed then culture facilities is done then conditioning for the export is done means it is kept so that it there won't be any disease then infrastructure and maintenance of record is being done so these are kind of uh, steps taken and then if for the each steps there will be certification given and uh, in every step certification provides you the better quality so we are uh, more uh, like we are more concerned for the quality purpose and the sustainability of the product so we take care of all these and the inspection are given in each step and certification are provided by eic and the mpda so there will be seven members and there will be principles for each and then and then each step by step certification is given undergone
then what what is the mandatory uh, of green certification like these green certification is if, if it is given to any kind of product then it is will be mandatory for three years like for three years it will be mandatory so this point is to be remembered that three years in the mandatory period of the green certification and this uh, green certification was started in Kochi in 2011 and it is first taken by the MPDA like MPDA all uh, take care of all these MPDA operationalysis the green certification and the scheme to curb wild capture of ornamental fishes so these are all the steps taken during the green certification of ornamental fishes so this was the starting of the uh, channel like we are here once again to help you all for the exam and whatever we can do we all will do in the uh, like channel purpose like if we are helping you can also help us like uh, you can share your thoughts in our channel that is telegram channel we have on uh, by the name bfsa fisheries online class and you can share your thoughts that how we can prepare for the next JRF exam which is upcoming um, and uh, we can all help each other because uh, everyone is not like that uh, everyone needs help and uh, if we can help each other by this thing we can do so uh, let's start with the beginning this was the beginning so it is a small lecture so never mind we can uh, come with the new and we can try for the next like uh, there are many of the videos available on our channel BFS fisheries online class so you can go through that and also we will be making new videos also um, from then tomorrow from tomorrow onwards so uh, stay tuned thanks for watching BFS fisheries online class and if if you have any thoughts or ideas for the uh, welfare or uh, uh, if we we can do much better then you can share us on our channel BFSC fisheries online class on telegram channel also you can comment so thank you all stay tuned